So when you have infinite choice, and if you do not stand out, you're going to be at a very serious disadvantage. Today, we are living in a very, very branded world. You know, every category is being branded. You know? Even commodities are branding themselves. Uh, fruits are branding themselves. You've got Del Monte, you know, you've got Dole Bananas, you know. Uh, water is being branded. The police are branding themselves. You know, churches are branding themselves, you know. So the purpose of branding is really to differentiate yourself. Because this world offers tremendous choice. Uh, whatever category, the choice is almost infinite. So in today's world, if you're not a brand, in the future, you're not even going to be a business. That is how much of a disadvantage you as a business are going to put yourself if you do not brand yourself. You know? And uh, when it comes to brands, there are two very important aspects, in my opinion. The first aspect is this. Every brand must fulfill this. It is what I call relevance. Now, any product or service or technology, first and foremost, has to be relevant. What do you mean by relevant? It has to solve a problem of a customer. It has to ease their pain, enhance their gain. Uh, it's got to address an issue that they are grappling with. So that's what I mean by relevance. Now, relevance, in my opinion, is a minimum requirement if you want to compete and if you want to succeed. But it's not going to be enough. The second element besides relevance is differentiation. Now, if you are a brand, you must differentiate yourself. You must stand out you must be seen as unique and standing for something uh, rather than just being relevant. In any category where there's infinite choice, you must not only be relevant, you must also be differentiated.